trap's teeth. Trap stopped in front of the stranger. I smoothed my fur. The pretty mouse seemed to be staring right at me. Oh my, she exclaimed. Aren't you Geronimo Stilton, the famous writer? I blushed the end of my whiskers. The mouse twirled her shark's teeth necklace. Then she leaned toward me. Could I have your autograph? She asked. I've read all of your books. They're so exciting. I think my favorite one is The Curse of the Cheese Pyramid. It made me want to travel to Egypt. I also enjoyed Cat and Mouse in a Haunted House. It was gripping. Only a very special mouse could write so well. I was flattered. It was nice, it was so nice to meet a fan, especially such a pretty one. I was about to say something clever when Trap took off again. We barreled toward the elevator with a squeal of tires. I'm afraid of elevators. Minutes later, my cousin dumped me off the luggage cart. I landed in a heap on the floor. Oops a daisy, Trap chuckled. I picked myself up, then I straightened my glasses. My cousin hit a button on the wall next to us. That's when I realized we had made it to the elevator. No, I shrieked at the top of my lungs. I can't get on that. I'm afraid of elevators. But Trap just twirled his tail. Don't worry, Jerrykins, he cried. There's nothing to it. Just don't think about it. The elevator doors opened. I tried to run away, but Trap stuck out his paw. I tripped. Before I could stop myself, I had rolled right into the elevator. Trap hopped in behind me. See, nothing to it, he said. The door slid shut. I gulped, then closed my eyes. I would never make it. I was already having problems breathing. My tail was trembling. My whiskers were dripping with sweat. It doesn't get any worse than this, I thought, but then it did. Trap stamped on my paw. I shrieked. The pain was horrible. At last, the doors opened. No need to thank me, squeaked my cousin happily. I told you, just don't think about it.